PMT over here in MS Excel tool, and uh, we'll simply add a rate over here, which is rate is this divide by twelve tool, comma. Now we need a NPER to twelve. I'll just say twelve over here, comma once again. What we want? We want a loan amount tool. So ensure that you will be adding a minus sign over here while you are selecting a loan dash here, and then this is your loan amount. Okay. Cool. So this is it for the PMT function. Now let's move ahead and check future value. Cool. Now want to see your savings growth. That time we use this option V over here. And then A2, which is this, again divide by 12, comma B2, which is this years into okay, 12, comma, minus your MTD contribution, what you are doing it. Cool. So this is the contribution you are giving it. Dash again your C2 over here. Cool. As soon as you're done with this formula, simply just hit a enter button and boom, you got a result for the specific values. Understand how much to invest today. That time we use this option called PV, present value. Just say is equal to and then do and then simply press PV over here. Okay. Simply select this A2 divide by 12, comma B2, which is this into sign again. I will say. And you can add zero comma minus your C2, which is this sign cool. bracket close. And as soon as you're done with this, just hit the enter button. You will get a present value, which calculates how many months to clear a loan with a fixed payment. Cool. Let's say NPER here, and then your rate of interest will be this. What is the rate of interest? This. Cool. Um, and then divide by 12 again, and then let's say C2, which is this monthly payment you have completed. And then comma, once you add that, which is your loan amount, you have to just simply say your loan. As soon as you're done with this formula, just hit it and cover Net present value of an investment. Good. To calculate this, just say B2, which is this initial investment was this, plus NPV. Now I will just say NPV over here. And then here I will select a A2, which is this comma. This is the range C2 to until G2, which is this entire range for me. Cool. As soon as I select this entire range, I will get a value like this. Cool. And that's it for the series. And you know now how to use this top five functions in MS Excel without hassle.